Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new custom Oakley that I just picked up today. Um, I was actually at one of my local Oakley vaults and if you guys don't know what that is, it is um, one of the outlet stores for Oakley. I was looking for another pair of glasses and they were the only ones that had it. And while we're in there, um, my wife and I were kind of looking around. She went over to the discount wall. A lot of the vaults um, have discounted eyewear. Um, you know, uh, clearance eyewear and stuff like that. And she saw this pair. And this is not a pair of, or a style that she normally wears. But when she saw it, she immediately fell in love with it. She showed it to me and I fell in love with it. And uh, I was back and forth between whose pair it was going to be. And she decided we can go ahead and share it. But I wanted to go ahead and do a video so you guys can take a look at it. I, I wasn't even aware that this was a particular um, frame color that you could pick in this model. Uh, so I did a little research and I found the name and basically everything that it is. So obviously as you can see it says custom because this was a custom pair. Now sometimes vaults will have um, pairs that people um, either uh, put together online or something like that and they order them and they change their mind so they get sent back but they're already built and then they will send them to the stores and they'll be a, um, at a heavily discount price. So I've actually left the price sticker on here so you guys can see um, how much this particular pair cost me. Now, as I mentioned, I was um, kind of doing some research on this particular one. And um, I built it online on Oakley's website. And I will give you the price difference between what it costs online right now to build it versus what I paid for it. So this particular model is a frog skin, so very quintessential Oakley model. It's been around for a long time since the beginning of Oakley. Looks really nice, very lightweight, um, a lot of very really vibrant colors, which this particular one is one of those colors. This one, if you go on Oakley's website right now and you custom build it, you'll actually have to pay $217 for it. So let me show you guys right here what I paid for it. So as you guys can see, this is a frog skin. This particular one, the frame is called Red Ink Spill. It is a prism ruby polarized lens, and I paid $69.99 for it. As you guys can see, it says Oakley OCP, which is Oakley Custom Product. OCP stands for Oakley Custom Product. I believe that's what it is. Um, and then it's got a sticker right here. A lot of the stores put stickers on the boxes of the eyewear that's on display. This one was on display, um, which pretty much means that they didn't get a ton of them. Maybe they only got this one. But again, I, I fell in love with it after she fell in love with it, and I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys. So I've talked long enough. Let me go ahead and open up the box right here. Now, the other cool thing is it, that it did come with the pink microfiber bag which is um reminiscent to frog skins and it's got the kind of old school little tag right here which is really nice and then here is the pair itself so again this is called red ink spill and basically it looks like it was supposed to be a silver frame and then some red ink just kind of spilled all over it so it looks really, really cool. Now the silver part is, um, uh, it's not transparent, but it's not matte either. But then the ink part, like these parts here, some of it is transparent, like you see right here next to the, um, the area right here in the corner. Uh, same thing over here. And then when you open them up, the stems are also in the red ink spill color. Now, when you customize these, you can actually choose different colors from the frame. So the front part and then the stems. So whoever customized these actually went through and chose red ink spill for everything. So again, uh, if you're building these on Oakley's website right now, they're about $217. They're selling it at the store for $69.99. This is why it's important if you're into Oakleys, if you like collecting Oakleys and stuff like that, that you visit, if you have the ability to visit vaults, um, outlet stores and stuff like that, and just kind of go on that wall and check out what they have. Sometimes ask. A lot of times things come in, they haven't been put out yet. I found a lot of really awesome stuff by doing that, just asking the associates, hey, do you have anything cool in the back? Maybe something that hasn't come out or maybe another color that's not out here yet. And once in a while, you might get lucky. Um, but this one was just really sitting up on the wall right there. Now, I want to say that if you customize these, they will probably all be different. Um, you know, again, maybe they're kind of throwing the different colors in there and stuff like that. So, you know, um, don't, don't think that they're all going to look exactly the same. Just because it looks like 
you know, it, it shouldn't be. So really, really cool. Again, this is the frog skin, as you guys can see right in there. And I do like the fact that they went with this kind of silver base and then the red over. Now, I can tell you on the camera, the red is actually looking a little bit more orangey. Um, in person, it does look a little bit more orangey as well. Not as much as it does in the camera, but it's not a bright, vibrant red like you probably like you would see the sticker right here. It's more of like a an orangey red. So, you know, and I think the the other thing is, again, they went ahead and did the prism ruby polarized lenses here, which look really, really awesome. Um, I think they match the uh, red ink spill color of the frame very nicely. Again, because this is a prism lens and it is polarized, you would see the word prism P etched on the top right there. So really, really awesome representation colorway for the frog skin model here. I was so glad that we were able to find it. Let me go ahead and turn the camera on. I will put these on so you guys can see what they look like on me. All right, so let me go ahead and put these on. Again, very quintessential um, frame from Oakley. This is kind of one of the first models that they came out with way back in the 80s. So really, really awesome pair. Very lightweight, very fresh, um, very easy to wear. Um, like I mentioned, my wife doesn't normally gravitate towards this style. She doesn't like two round frames um, or, or lenses, I, I should say. But Again, this this particular frame when you when you first take a look at it, she you instantly fall in love with it. She did, and then when I saw it, I did, and you know we were arguing back and forth as far as who was going to get them. So I let her get them since I was actually going to the store to pick up another pair for myself. So here it is. It you know again, it's a very flat frame. You don't have a big wrap to it, but it's very light, very easy to wear. This particular one obviously is um, a little bit more uh, kind of flare. Uh, not not so dressy you know this is you know if you if you want to you know just hang out maybe go to the beach and hang out walk around and stuff like that this is going to be a really awesome style and colorway to do that again this is the red ink spill they do have another one i think it's a black ink spill if i'm not mistaken on the site so if you want something a little bit more muted um but it still gives it a little bit of character with the different uh, colorways and stuff like that then that's also another option uh, again that prism ruby lens Polarize is really, really awesome. Um, very reflective. Uh, it, it increases contrast, which is nice. It makes everything look nice and bright. So this is just a nice bright frame. That's, that's as much as I can say. Uh, normally what I do is I throw the glasses on top of my head if I go inside. Uh, this, you know, they don't have a lot of flex in them as far as in the, in the hinges, but um, you know, it is a, a pretty lightweight frame, so it does flex a little bit. You just don't want it to flex it too much because then you kind of warp it out. So depending on your style, you can do that. I normally do that. But with this particular one, um, I do have a couple other frog skins. What I normally do is I just kind of throw it on the, um, you know, the neck around the neck of my shirt right here. If I'm wearing a t-shirt or something like that. It's not so heavy that it's gonna pull your shirt down or anything like that. You don't have to worry about it. And then, you know, when you're done, you can just bring them back out, put them on and go on your way. So I think this is a really, really awesome pair. Again, I got really lucky by finding it at this particular price, $69 for it, $69.99. Um, but, you know, if you like it, it is available on the Oakley site. Again, it's a little bit pricey at two seventeen dollars for, um, you know, for this style, style of frame. But, you know, it's, it's, it's all depending on how much you like it. So if you really want to get yourself one of these, you know, you can go ahead and jump on the Oakley sites and customize it that way. Maybe you don't want to throw polarized lenses in there, you know, something, another color or something like that. Non-polarized, it will bring the price a little bit down. But again, this is going to be the, besides actually getting the lenses etched it with, you know, your own, um, you know, words or whatever on it, this is going to be the, um, the most expensive combination that you can get them in, in. So, uh, again, it's, it is still available. So there it is. Uh, just, just a look at the frog skins and this really awesome frame color, the red ink spill with the prism ruby polarized lenses. This was an awesome find and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.